everybody and welcome back to my channel back to school series and I am so excited Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you through my science boxes, my files and basically just how I revise science. I'm going to be showing you like kind of what I've done to prepare myself for science and also some websites that I like to use or revision books and just stuff like that. So this is a really highly requested video so I do hope that it helps some of you guys out. I'm on the AQA GCSE triple science so biology, chemistry and physics but this can help out anybody that's on science because it's the same, it's just different content depending on which like pathway you're on and stuff. But so yeah, I'm doing triple science. Get three GCSEs in science, one in biology, one in chemistry and one in physics. It's gonna show you my folders and boxes and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so these are my science boxes. Here I've got a biology one, here I've got a physics one. If you're gonna ask where I got these labels from, I used to have a label maker and then it broke and I never got another one. So now all I do is I've got these like little sticky things from Wolco and um, they're just these and you basically just write whatever you want on them you can peel it off and stick it on so that's all I use to create those because I don't really think it's worth getting one of these label makers because mine broke but anyway I'm going to be showing you through my biology box because my biology physics and also my chemistry one are exactly the same so there's no point in me showing you all of them so if we open up this biology box the first thing I have are my flashcards so these are all quizlets um, and basically if you want flashcards on quizlet just go on type in biology flashcards whatever exam board you're on or anything look through them see if they look okay if they look okay print them off that's all i do and that's how i've got these ones um so so if we open it up i think i've got like 300 of these and i've sectioned them all off into different topics so here we've got transpiration and translocation um, another one we might have is mitosis and cell cycle, microscopes, you get the idea and it's kind of just colour coded in highlighters so we've got the pink, um, yellow, purple and then we've also got some orange back here and that coincides with my file which I'll show you in a minute but basically the four different colours are for the four different topics in paper one because this is biology at paper one and then at the back of it I've just got some other flashcards that I've made so these are all mixed up they're not really colour coded but these just say paper one biology flashcards and they're just loads and loads of different flashcards as you can see I like to print out little diagrams and stick them on like this and some of the answers are also like that as well but other times I will just write them out and write on the back of them as well so I like to keep all of these in this little folder because it just keeps them all together I get my flashcards from Wilco and I also get my little folder pouch thing from Wilco as well and also if you'd like to see where like I keep these then my organization video shows them as well so I'll link my organization video in the little eye at the top and also in the description box below so that is just biology paper one. I haven't covered paper two yet, but eventually I'll have another one that says a biology paper two. So I also have a folder for every single science. Now this is my biology folder. So if we open it up, it's got the biology higher revision tracker. These are all on my website. If you are wondering why I do sell them and I don't give them away for free, I sell them because I'm trying to save for musical theatre college. So like a couple of pounds here and there really helps me out and helps support my funds to go. So this is my biology revision tracker. It's got paper one, paper two. You can get this off the AQA website. I just like to put it into this format because it looks nicer to look at. And then I also have a revision tracker. So this is paper one. So it's just got all the topics ones. It's got topic one, topic two, topic three, and topic four. And as you can see, all the topics are highlighted in different colors, which coincides with all the flashcards. Then if we just go like further into the file, I've also got all the required practicals. That also comes if you do buy the planner on my website. So if you buy the planner on my website, you get this, you get all the little sheets in between, and you also get that. You get it for biology, chemistry, and physics. So you get it for all of them. Um, and then I also just make these worksheets on Word and print them out. So some of them are just off, there's a website called Tess or something and it's got loads of free worksheets and stuff and I like to print them all off. Um, I've also got some that I've made myself. I'm sure there's some written ones back here somewhere. 
and then I've also just got some practice papers at the back if you you can find this by basically typing into Google like GCC biology past papers and you can just do some past papers as you can see I do random questions here and there because that's just how I do it but yeah this is basically my folder as you can see I've just got more worksheets but I keep that in all three of my science boxes next thing I've got is a GCSE AQA biology revision guide now this is the CGP revision guide it's really good um but like it is good but there are websites that you can use and I think it was quite expensive it was 10.99 which is really expensive for a revision guide like it's okay um, but I also like to use, I haven't actually got one for biology, I've only got one for chemistry and physics, but I really like these scholastic ones as well. Again, um, these are just really good. It's just a revision guide and it explains things really well. It's also got checker bits where you can check if you know it or not. And I really like these books and I do like the CGP one as well, but there are websites which I'm going to show you in a minute that are just as good and do the job perfectly but I like to have something visual to look at whilst I revise so that's why I've got these books. I've then just got the AQA GCC biology specification. Um, I wouldn't advise printing it out at all. As you can see I gave up after the 20th, like 25th page because it was just going to be too big to print out but these are really good to look at online and then I've just got my two workbooks that I write in in class that my school gave me to write in. So this is basically everything that I keep in my science folders. It's exactly the same for physics and biology. So you can see my physics ones literally got like the same layout. So it's got my flashcards. As you can see, there aren't as many in there because I still need to do them. Um, it's also got my file with my trackers in. It's got my CGP book. And then it's also got my two workbooks. It's literally the same layout. And this is just how I like to lay out. Okay, so I'm also going to insert some screenshots of some websites that you might like to use. Um, there are a few different ones, a few different YouTube channels. If I do miss them out, then there are obviously lots and lots, but these are my personal favourite ones to use. I'm going to insert some screenshots now, so I hope you enjoyed seeing my boxes. So thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a like and also comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.